Hello everybody and welcome to your 18th Allegro 5 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning on how to play sounds in our program. So this one's going to be utilizing sound effects and the next one's going to be teaching us how to play like background music etc etc. Uh, a lot of people when they uh, hear about sounds they think this is one of the least um, important tutorials so sometimes they skip it. Uh, but Sounds are just as important as every other um, thing that we, um, any other aspect of a game. Uh, it probably, it most, it isn't the most important aspect. Um, well, if it's a game like Guitar Hero, then probably is. But in most games, they they aren't the most important um, aspect, but they do have an effect on the game, especially if you're making an RPG. Um, the the music kind of like sets the mood, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but anyways. Enough of me talking, let, let's get right into the tutorial. So what we want to do is that we want to, we need to include two things. We need to include Allegro Audio and we need to include the uh, the codec, the A codec. And what the codec does is that it just allows us to um, load in sounds of different types, right? And, and play sounds uh, of different file types. Uh, so once we do that, we need to do two things. We need to install the audio. And we need to initialize the codec. So we do AL init, a codec, add-on. Okay, so we've done that. Now, uh, just like uh, images are bitmaps and, and we have certain identifiers and, and variable types, uh, the type for a sound in Allegro 5 is um, Allegro underscore sample. And for Allegro 4 users, uh, there was a difference between MIDI and samples. Um, and this one, um, in Allegro 5, uh, everything is a sample. I, I never really checked if there is an uh, um, Allegro MIDI, but you can handle songs and stuff using samples in Allegro 5. Uh, so what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, we're going to name it. So we put a pointer to the name. And as you know, when we when we put a pointer to something, we need to destroy it. Uh, so if we scroll to the bottom, what we're going to do is we're just going to say "al destroy sample," and we put in the sample name. So sound effect. Okay. So if we get back to our code. Uh, to load in anything, uh, we just do AL load sample, and we load in the sample name we're trying to load in. So most likely for sound effects, you're going to use something like a WAV file or something like that. Uh, the, the the reason being is that uh, WAV files are normally uncompressed, but whatever. The, but like, uh, if you're using like a background music or something like that, it most likely you're not going to use a WAV file. You're going to want to use a compressed file format. But if you're using sound form, uh, like sound effects, maybe you want them to be extremely detailed, so you'd probably use something like a WAV file, or etc. Uh, so okay, so we load in our, we've got our sample loaded in. So after we've loaded in our samples and everything, uh, anywhere after whatever, what you want to do is you want to do AL reserve samples. And you want to, what we're reserving samples is, is basically uh, letting the default mixer or whatever mixer you're using, letting the mixer know uh, how many samples you're going to be using, right? Uh, this is an important step because if it doesn't know how many samples it's using, then you could run into some problems in your program. Uh, so in this case, we're using one sample, so we reserve one sample. Okay. So now we got everything set. We've loaded in our sample. Uh, we reserved the sample. Uh, so now it's just a matter of playing the sample. Okay. So uh, what we're gonna do is that I will just um. Uh, okay, I'll just put the sound effect for one of these buttons, okay? So when they press the down key, it's going to play the sound effect. So what we do is Allegro, I mean, we do AL underscore play sample. Now, it takes a lot of things in the parameters. So the first thing it takes is the sample name, so sound effect, I put it in there. The second one is the gain. Uh, the gain represents the volume. Uh, the 1.0 represents uh, the default volume, so the regular volume. Anything lower will make the sound softer. Anything higher will make the sound louder. Uh, but if you make it louder, something could distort the sound. So if you just want a louder sound, then make it loud from default or whatever. Uh, pan. 
uh, zero panning means like if you wanted to pan towards the right speaker or the left speaker. Uh, so if you wanted to sound effects to more lean towards the right speaker, uh, then you will put the value more towards 1.0. And if you want to lean towards the left speaker, you put it near negative 1.0. And to, for the um the sound to play equally through both speakers, you just set the pan to zero, 0, 0.0, uh, since the float type. Uh, the speed is at the speed that it, that it plays at. So for the normal speed, it's 1.0. If you want to play faster, you put a higher value. If you want to play at a half speed, you put it at a lower value. So for the Allegro play mode, there's three different uh the, the three different play modes. There's Allegro loop. Uh, there's play once and there's once and there's buy something else. Uh, in this case, since the sound effect, we're not we don't want to really repeat it. We only want to play it once. Uh, so we do Allegro play mode once, and for this, we would set the ID to zero. So uh, and as for putting your uh, your samples uh, in or your sound effects, you have to put in your project folder. Uh, so for those of you, if you guys haven't watched the uh, Sprites tutorial or anything, uh, if you're using Visual Studio, what you'll do is you'll go to the project folder, then double click the the folder, the game file name again or the folder name again, and you'll put your sound effect or whatever in there. And then if your if your sound effects in another folder in there like sound slash sound effect uh like if you have another folder, uh like sound and you put it your sound effect in there, then when you load it in, you have to load it in from sound slash sound effect etc etc. Okay, for users that are using like say Dev C plus plus or Code Blocks or whatever, uh, in the initial project folder where all the uh, the header files and the implementation like the CPP files and all the um where all those files are, you just have to place it in that folder. So once we got all our sound effects uh, in there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our program, and uh, the same program from last tutorial. When we press down, we hear the sound effect. Okay, so that is it for the tutorial. As for the sound formats that it supports, the known ones I know are the WAV and AUG files. I'm not sure about MP3 or other type of file format type, so you can research that if you would like. Uh, but it's really up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, and look. For, I hope you look forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this, and bye.